Guys, what's up? How's it going? It's John. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate that. This video, I wanted to check out the brand new M30 Bluetooth gamepad by 8BitDo. What this is, is a Bluetooth Sega Genesis or Mega Drive con controller, which is pretty sweet. Uh, coming out in April, so it's come out very soon as of filming this video. There's also separately you can get this, uh, what they call retro receiver. It will uh, work on the original Genesis, Mega Drive, and clone consoles. Uh, this retails for 20. So total investment, you're looking at 50 bucks. Kind of steep, but what I like what they're doing, uh, and this is packed with the analog, the new Mega SG. What I like about this is that uh, both analog and 8-bit though, they're taking the old school tech and modernizing it, which is pretty sweet, right? So obviously with Bluetooth, uh, you can get some range. You're not going to find where the old school wireless controllers, you had to be like right in front of the receiver. That's not the case with this. So this is Bluetooth. It's got a long range. They've released other game pads as well, including the ones for the NES, Super Nintendo. Uh, this is, Genesis is a great one. And I saw they're also coming out with ones that are like, kind of like almost like a GameCube style one, which is pretty sweet with analog sticks. They have a Super Nintendo one with like grips now, uh, hand grips, which is pretty sweet. So definitely changing what we can perceive as retro consoles and, and controllers and modernizing, which is awesome. So I'm gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna show how this thing works. Um, these work fairly well. Uh, I've had some issues in the past with getting the retro receiver to connect, at least using my NES and Super Nintendo one. Uh, hopefully that's not the, the case with this. But without any further ado, uh, let's take a closer look at what this looks like and uh, go from there. Thanks for watching. Okay, so basically I, I've opened this receiver right here and what you get is the retro receiver. Uh, there's a button to sync it. There is a code that they give you. You can have a sequence of buttons you get to use to pair. Uh, also it comes with a charger. It's a micro USB so you can charge it. I'm not quite sure the battery life on that to be quite honest with you. This itself, there's a sleeve. It opens up, there's no uh, no stickers, no, nothing like that, no tape. Um, and then here it is, you open it up, there's some plastic casing on the side. Here is the controller itself. Got the D-pad, kind of feels like the original D-pad. Uh, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Uh, these are the various buttons, start. Uh, these are different, I'm not quite sure what these will do, but I'll find out. Uh, here's kind of the sync button, left and right shoulder buttons. Feels really good to the hand. Um, here's instructions. Also comes with a micro USB charger to charge it. Again, I apologize. I don't know how long the battery life lasts, but I'll con let's compare this to like an original just controller size wise and go from there. So here's a comparison between the six, the original six button controller as well as the bit uh, Shape wise, it's slightly different. It does feel a little bit more contoured differently. So it does feel different in the hands a little bit, but not nothing like negative though. Uh, I did find out what these buttons do. So this is the home button, select button, and this star button you can, use, you can actually use it for a turbo button, so you can kind of figure what button you want to do turbo, which is a nice feature. Obviously, the original one doesn't have. Uh, there's no, no mode button. You notice that there's a mode button here. Uh, no mode button, just the right left bumpers. Also, I uh, found out there is 18 hours of battery life in this thing. It takes about an hour to two hours to charge. Uh, so out of the box, doesn't look like there's much. There's no light, so you got to charge this thing. So that's cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync this up. Uh, to my switch we'll go from there uh, see how this thing actually uh, responds uh, playing on the switch thanks so what i did to turn on the controller you have to hit uh, y and start and i will turn the controller for you uh, th these lights they'll tell you how many players are playing on the very bottom here um, and so when you when you pair it to pair it you have to go to your controller settings and you have to find control you have to pair a new controller you hold down this button down right here this pairing button down for two seconds and it will find it. I didn't have any issues with pairing it. So now you can see I'm moving around. Fine, now I'm gonna play uh, one of my favorite consoles or from favorite games is Sonic Mania. Great game, we'll check it out with uh, with this just controller. I figured it'd be a fitting game. Other games obviously will work well too. The Switch is really great for retro style indie games, of course, and, and those will work. This is a great game, by the way. If you haven't played Sonic Mania, highly recommend if you're a Sonic fan. I got it in Japanese. I got it in Japanese here. Uh, that's kind of weird, but I have. I'm playing this on my other Switch. I have another Switch that I usually play most of my games on. Um, that's funny. 
this game is kind of a mix between your old school, you got the old school graphics, of course, original Sonic, but new levels, music's great, and I'll be honest, I mean, I don't see anything, no lag with the connection, with the controller, which is great, the controller feels good, so I definitely do recommend it, you know, $30 is a little on the steeper side for controller, but you're, you're also paying for, for quality here as well, so keep that in mind, uh, but if you end up getting this uh, Omega SG uh, system as well, this will be uh, great to have for that as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please leave a comment below. Thanks for turning on your notifications. Let me know what you guys think of this. Do you guys plan on getting one? Are you a fan of the Genesis or Mega Drive? Let me know. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Take care. And of course, game on. Thanks.